Hey everybody, I'm Shauna and welcome back to my channel, Shauna Missy Me HD, where I strive to inform, encourage, and motivate you to achieve your educational goals by helping you gain admission into health-related undergrad and graduate programs. And today we are talking about something completely out of the ordinary. I am reacting to the craziest anesthesia video I've seen on YouTube so far. I don't get me started. Before we get started, if you're new to my channel, welcome. You know what to do. Go ahead and press subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you're the first to know when I release the next video. Also, I want to make an announcement to my current subscribers and potential subscribers. If you haven't noticed, I've recently switched to uploading one video per week. I'm trying to be consistent on Thursdays. As you guys know, I am a resident physician and things are getting hectic. <laughs> I'm like super busy, working a lot, studying a lot. I am a mom, so you guys know my schedule is very jam-packed. And so I did not want to completely stop making YouTube videos because I know you guys need them, but I definitely have to compromise and take a step back at making so many videos per week and prioritize my education and training, which is obviously my residency. Duh, right? So. Yes, look out for my videos, hopefully every Thursday. But if things start to slow down, don't think that you can't reach out to me. Again, the best way to contact me is on Instagram. I am a few days behind as far as responding to some of my Instagram messages. But don't give up on me, guys. I'm going to get back to you. And also, I just want to do a special shout out to one of my viewers. I believe her name is Salon. She is the person who told me about this video that she wanted me to react to. And I'm so glad she showed it to me because I hate that this video is kind of like circulating on the internet and low-key causing people to be traumatized. So again, if you're new to my channel, I'm an anesthesia resident, which means I'm completing my training to be a fully board certified anesthesiologist. I'm in my first year of anesthesia, but this is my second year of residency. I wanted to share that so that you guys understand the relevance of why I'm reacting to this video. Um, this is my first reaction video. I've never done this before, so y'all bear with me. Uh, and this is like really spared a moment. I should be studying right now, but I'm with y'all. Okay, so I hope y'all like this video. So this is a video of an anesthesia provider intubating a patient. Now I say anesthesia provider because as we know, the anesthesia team is made up of an anesthesiologist and or a CRNA and or anesthesia assistant. So all three of those people uh, can actually intubate a patient. Also respiratory therapists, emergency medicine physicians, critical care doctors. But in this video, the title says, an anesthetist administers general anesthesia. So I'm assuming possibly a CRNA, but we can't say that for sure. So let's just keep it at an anesthesia provider, okay? Also, this video was uploaded by The Apprentice Corp. So I will include all the information to this video in the description box. So it looks like he is giving the patient uh, an induction medication called propofol. And propofol is a medication uh, that actually provides anesthesia, okay, is what we use to induce or to begin the anesthetic um, before switching over to volatile or gas anesthetics. Um, the medication does not paralyze you. It does not prevent pain. It simply makes you unaware of what is going on, okay? And then depending on your size and your body and how things break down in your body, all patients don't require the same exact amount of medication. Some require a little bit, some require a lot. Okay, so you never really know. So I just want to stop this right here because I don't like his bedside manner. First of all, a patient never holds their mask. <laughs> Ever. Most patients are not comfortable with that. I'm surprised that that patient reached up to hold her mask over her mouth. And I'm surprised that the nurse that is standing there did not move her arm or say relax. And then I'm more surprised that the anesthesia provider literally just threw her arm to the side. You know what I mean? Like gently reassured the patient that everything's okay. They can just relax and that they'll be off to sleep soon. That is what the anesthesia provider should have did. Like, 
I'm real big on bedside manners. Like, I might seem like I have like a little attitude or I'm like out there or whatever on YouTube, but manners are everything and every patient should be treated with decency and respect. So as you can see, he is giving more medication, more of the same white milky medication. So I'm going to assume that again, that that is propofol. Y'all, as you can see, the patient blinked. It sounds like he said, open your mouth for me oh my god y'all you never know who Okay, and this patient, she is obviously becoming more sedated, but she's still moving. Like, you can see little jerks. Oh my, she just moved her whole hand. Like, she is aware that he's sticking this five, four, five inch tool down her throat, y'all. How many of, how many of y'all can stick y'all finger down, y'all? You know what I'm saying? That is, oh my, it's so painful and so stimulating, and I feel so sorry for this patient and i'm disgusted by this video and mind you the anesthesia provider nor the nurse who's standing there assisting the anesthesia provider has said anything to this patient has said oh i'm sorry let me get you something for pain oh i'm sorry let me help get, let me get you something to help relax you more Oh, I'm sorry, let me paralyze you so you don't move. Let me fully sedate you so you're not aware of what I'm doing. Like, I, I can't even believe this is circulating. I hope this was a, a, an informative video to teach a lesson on what not to do when you are providing anesthesia to a patient. I have never seen a patient be intubated slightly awake, mildly or moderately sedated without being paralyzed. Obviously the anesthesia equipment that is being used right now is super outdated. So I have no idea how long ago this video was actually uh, created, but I hate that this video is circulating on the internet for people to see. Like if you're not familiar with anesthesia or medicine in general and you have to undergo surgery and you see something like this, like I don't blame you for being traumatized. I'm tra I'm traumatized and I'm a doctor like this is what I'm training to do for the rest of my life and that's traumatizing like when I first watched this my jaw dropped I could not believe the practice that this anesthesia provider is practicing I could not believe his terrible bedside manners I cannot believe that this is on the internet scaring the hell out of people right guys more modern medicine this does not happen if you have to be intubated awake there are other tools that we use as anesthesia providers that allow you to be intubated without being stimulated like that without you being extremely uncomfortable are you aware sometimes yes will you feel a little something maybe but we give you number medications and we do not use the thing he's holding to get a view of her um, epiglottis and her vocal cords. We don't use that in awake patients. We give you something that completely takes you out of there, like mentally, like you're not aware of what's going on. You typically don't feel the pain. You're not stimulated. It's not painful. You don't know that it's painful. And you typically have to be paralyzed. 
Now, I wanted to provide you guys a video of how intubation is supposed to go, okay? So, watch this clip and then rewind and watch the clip that I showed you before because it's two totally different things, okay? What that guy was doing, I don't know what that, I don't know what they call that. But this is how it's supposed to be done. Watch how this uh, lady, she uses the laryngoscope to visualize the vocal cords. And I know a lot of times you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but this video is going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. But just watch how she's patient and she's, you know, slow and precise and she's getting exactly every little detail move that she needs to be able to get a good visualization, vi visualization of the vocal cords. A paralytic facilitates intubation. Insert the blade in the right side of the mouth, carefully pushing the tongue aside. The aim is to create an unobstructed line of sight to the larynx by pushing the tongue to the left and lifting the epiglottis. And as you can see, that this patient the is not throat. moving. This okay? precision. They're not blinking. They're not moving their arms. They're not the gagging. Okay, they are so not moving. That is how it's supposed to be. After you administer the induction the agent and then you give your paralytic, that is what the patient is supposed to do. That is when you try to intubate. Okay, no time before that. Okay, so what this video is saying is correct. And I do want to point out the fact that I see in this video, uh, which was uploaded within the last year, I don't know when it was recorded, but in this video, they also have weird looking masks. Like we don't use masks like that anymore. So I don't know if this maybe a, maybe it was just a video recorded long ago, or if that is actually how things look in other countries and other areas of the world uh, where the actual equipment is just different, but they all do the same thing. I hope this was somewhat entertaining. It's, unbelievable but it clearly happens so let me know what you guys think in the comments below